Welcome to another edition of DMIG Safety. I'm Mike Dermanowell, Jr., and over the next couple of minutes, I hope you learn something about how to be safe in the workplace. One of the topics we have to talk about today is heat. Heat illness prevention program uh, is a must in all operations uh, throughout the state of California, especially with people like maintenance, coaches, youth pastors, anybody that works outside needs to pay attention to the heat. Um, today we're demonstrating what a lot of the drinks uh, that we have uh, to fight that thirst, but really they're the wrong thing. They're the the caffeinated ones, uh, coffee, uh, Cokes, and all that stuff. Uh, but we really, what we really need is, uh, is water. We need to drink water. We need to uh, drink lots of water, uh, preferably uh, water that has electrolytes. Uh, so it's really important that we drink lots of water, seek shade, and take a rest period when we're suffering the uh, effects of heat. Another thing that we uh, provide here at DMIG is a safety video uh, to help you with your heat illness prevention program. Uh, this video is free of charge and it talks about the elements of a heat illness prevention program. Water, rest, and shade. This is critically important. Uh, Cal OSHA has enforcement teams out throughout the state of California enforcing this law. And so it's very important that you implement your program Make sure that your employees are trained and they know about heat illnesses and uh, its effects. So if you need help, please call me and I'll be glad to help. Well, the key to what you just saw today is, what are you gonna do with the information? Are you gonna take it seriously? Are you gonna apply it to your daily work life? Because the entire purpose of the DMIG Safety Series is to make sure that at your school or at your church, we can have minimal injuries as possible. Thank you for watching.